Hi, I'm your host, Trujillo de la Santa, and today we're getting very emotional. Last week I gave you an exercise to get actual tears run down your face, but as I said, that's nothing more than a party trick and it needs to be complemented with some real emotional preparation. So today I'm going to give you an exercise to do just that. All the exercises I'm showing you have a physical approach, which I prefer because I find that it works well even if the actors have not used them before. Different methods that rely on memory or imagination can be great, but usually they require the actors to have been trained in them before. Make sure you talk to your actors first and find out if they have their own method to get emotional. If someone is trained in a different method, this physical approach can put them off and have the opposite effect. I call today's exercise the sensation trick. Basically, I guide the actor through a series of physical sensations that will put them in the right emotional state before we shoot the scene. It's very similar to guiding people through relaxation exercises, like the Alexander technique. First of all, I tell my actors to use all the rehearsals and the first few shots as a way to get deeper and deeper into their own emotions. When we get to the main close-up, I guide them through a series of physical sensations that help tip them over the edge. In order to guide the actors better, I like to do the exercise myself a little bit, and that's why in the example you're about to see, you hear me get a little breathy as I go along. Relax, don't worry. Don't feel like you need to push it, don't feel like you need to get back to whatever. Just focus on this yeah. feeling that is sort of slowly taking over you, especially your breathing. Your breathing gets, gets harder, gets heavy. It's like having a weight on your chest. And you try and breathe normally, but this weight is sort of pushing down and it keeps, it keeps pushing down and the more you try and, and get rid of this and breathe normally the, the higher it gets and now it's getting to your throat and your throat is sort of tensing up and, and you, you try and fight it down but the harder you fight it down the, hard, the heavier it gets and it's almost getting to your eyes you don't want it to get to your eyes, but it's it's almost there. It's getting there. Keep fighting it. Keep fighting it. Don't let her see it. Don't let her see it. And action. And sure enough, she delivered a wonderfully touching performance right after. I know she would have wanted you to wear them. Beautiful. Just perfect. You look just like her. Oh, I know, dear. I miss her too. I can't wear them. Of course she can. She would want you to. Mark's left. What do you mean? He left months ago. I'm I'm sorry, I should have told you, but I, I just I couldn't I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's okay. It's okay. The exercise only worked because the actress was brave and professional enough to let herself be affected by the ideas I was giving her. Watch out. I'm not talking about fake crying. We don't simulate these sensations during the scene. We just use them beforehand to get in the right emotional state. When you play the scene, you cannot be focusing on the exercise. You have to be in the moment. In order to coach people this way, you need to know what you're saying and how you're saying it. So the best way to learn is to just give it a go yourself and see how these ideas ideas affect you. If you're an actor and you're having trouble getting emotional, this might be a good exercise for you too. So go ahead and lie somewhere comfortable. Then play the clip I've just shown you and follow the instructions. I suggest you stop the clip when I say action and keep it going for a bit longer. Part of you will feel stupid doing this. Just accept it and keep going. If any upsetting images pop into your head, just let them. After a couple of minutes of doing this, you can add the rub your eyes trick that we've seen last week, which will give you an extra kick and help get you into that emotionally heightened state. Some people find themselves sobbing in a few minutes, but don't worry if it doesn't happen. After all, you're doing it in your own house without the context of an emotional scene to help you out. The most important thing is not to try and force it. Just focus on the sensations and let it happen. When you guide people through this, you need to talk a little slower with a lower tone of voice in 
in a soothing and reassuring manner. As I said before, I also find it useful to do the exercise myself a little bit whilst I talk them through it. Don't do it too much though, it's not a competition. Most importantly, don't get frustrated if it doesn't work. It's just one exercise. There are lots more and we'll look at another one next week. Have you tried doing the exercise on your own? Or did you try coaching someone through it? How did it go? Please let us know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, please give us the thumbs up, share it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much, I'll see you soon. Have you got a topic you want me to talk about? Please let me know in the comments below and I'll do my very best to help out.